Well, you know, speaking of that, 2020 presidential candidate Senator Kamala Harris introduced a bill that will extend the school day <laughs> until 6 o'clock p.m. to help reduce the burden of ch child care working families. She claims that there needs to be more after school programs to keep kids more active educational wise. So is this a good idea for kids to be in school I, this late here? I think it's a beautiful idea, but I don't think it, you should, it should be all educational things. I don't, I don't think it should be the typical school curriculum of like social studies, math, science, all those things that the kids have to endure throughout the process of the day. But I do think there should be some mandatory extracurriculars that you know, could, you know, it helps out the family. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be necessarily school-based stuff. It can be things that like knitting or uh, uh, basketball or any type of club that can just mm -hmm. enhance et cetera, et cetera. Well, um, you know, the child. Um, Picking back into what you're saying, I think here's the issue. I mean, all of us has, you know, all went to all different types of public schools. Mm -hmm. The issue that I feel about extending school is if we're gonna extend it, yes, we can have educational, <clears throat> you know, courses, but at the same time, like you said, we should have also extracurricular activities and also something that the kids can look forward to when they do go to school without right. trying to cram so much information in their heads. And then when, for example, like regions and those big tests come, they're so overwhelmed with all this information and they don't even know that half of the things that we, they were taught was not in, the, was not in the regions or the, to graduate. Right. So I personally feel like I don't, I just don't understand what is the purpose of extending the, 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 the whole school curriculum in terms of like, they should just have uh, half, half and half, like in terms of like, they should have more courses of learning and half courses of additional extracurricular things and right. not extend it for such a long time. Because if you think about it, it's really unfair to the students who are already there. God knows what time they start school now, but um, 6 p.m. is it's kind of late to be mandatory, but instead of making it mandatory, make some more available um, after-school curriculars. You don't have yeah. to mandate that kids are there, but make it more accessible for the kids to stay there past a certain time. So that, and you make know. it about not only just learning about uh, math or social studies and English, what about life? You know, how to mm -hmm. cook, how to do your taxes how to get a job, how to get an apartment. Like We need to have those things in terms of schools and not just trying to put all this information in their heads on things that we don't even know that that's what their passion is going to be in the future. Mm -hmm. This is why a lot of schools are uh, getting shut down, you know, and I feel like it's more of a business. That's why a lot of teachers try to emphasize like the regions and these high school testing thing. I just feel like it has to be uh, a give and take. Mm -hmm. And pay your teachers more too. You're talking about giving after school, after school, um, all this extending the day. Pay the teachers, please, and thank you. Yes. Pay the teachers. Worry about paying the teachers. Yes. First. Thanks. If you want, also pay us. We need money as well oh, here. Yeah. I don't. I don't know about me, but <laughs> pay us. <laughs> They are teachers. Our teachers need living salaries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because no, well, I, I could see why, and you know, I think that's one of the things that Kamala Harris made in her view. Her point about why to extend the, the school day so that way not only kids could get the education they need, but also teachers get a better w wage as well for that's working. That's not a good idea that, because that's but, if you're saying okay, we're gonna give teachers a higher wage by giving them more hours, the ratio is still the same. They're still gonna be getting paid the same amount of money, but they're just working longer. So it does. They, I don't think they. It's not overtime. If you extend the day, does it become overtime? No. It's what. It's still the same full day, so just give them a raise and stop talking about ex like, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm really passionate well, about he makes, he makes our sense. professors I, and our I, teachers. I, like they are, they they shape the world, the the future. So it's not really. Yes, but bef we, I know. Listen, I know we gotta go, but I need to bring up something that I wanted to mention because I just found it. Oh my God, what? So because 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 if Bloomberg enters the race, th it could. It will bring the Democrat field to 18 candidates, which happens to be the largest ever. But I know before then, you have more than 18 candidates. But I just want to bring this up here that... That's a lot. Yeah, it, it is a lot. And you only got like three Republicans who are planning on running in the race. And But Bloomberg will become number 18. So I just want to bring that I, up. Wow. <laughs> I think that, I don't know, this seems to me like 
everyone is against Trump, and that's why we're seeing so many this explosion of this many Democrats because everyone's just like, okay, I can slide into this lane, and <clears throat> once I oppose him, I already have a big following. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. someone who comes in there and says "f Trump," already you have just on saying that alone, you have a following. So. Mm -hmm.